Princess Diana's nieces Lady Amelia and Lady Eliza Spencer delivered some major regal vibes on the Cannes Film Festival red carpet. Diana's brother, Charles Spencer's 29-year-old twin daughters, made their festival debut for a screen of Top Gun Maverick on Wednesday night. For the occasion, the sisters looked stunning in coordinating black ensembles. Amelia turned heads in a one-shoulder gown, while Eliza made a statement in a sparkly halter dress. The twins' debut comes 35 years after their late aunt walked the red carpet at the annual French festival in a powdered blue strapless gown back in 1987. The sisters were only five years old when Princess Diana died, but they still have sweet memories of their late relative. Eliza previously called her aunt, quote, incredibly warm, maternal, and loving while speaking with Tapler in 2021. And Diana wasn't Amelia and Eliza's only royal connection at the film festival. The duo's cousin, Prince William, and his wife, Duchess Kate, are also expected to attend the screening of Tom Cruise's highly anticipated new movie at the London premiere of Top Gun Maverick on Thursday night. It's really no surprise all these royals are, are making a point to watch the flick. Leading man Tom told Access Hollywood Scott Evans that the long-awaited sequel does not disappoint. Movie star. I mean, you are a movie star. <laughs> Did, I mean, it's it. You flew in on a freaking helicopter onto a a, a U.S. A midway. Midway. The U.S. USS Mi Midway. Right. I know. What's that? Come on. I know. Uh, I feel like it. It is almost to be expected at this point. Like you are the man. What did it feel like? to get this response to, to all these years later. I mean, the love is probably even greater, right, this time around than, than the first time. It was pretty crazy the first time, but you're right. This time, it's 36 years people have been waiting for it, and particularly, we decided to do it, and then the pandemic hit. Right. I kept having to postpone the release, postpone the release, and all the actors, I was like, guys, I'm sorry, I know we gotta do it. Yeah. You know, this is for the big screen, and we yeah. gotta hold it. And, you said no streamers. We're not doing it on the streamer. We're going big screen. No, See it in the is, theater. This is this is a this is for theaters, you yeah. know. And you know, you hear the sound system, and the, it was made for that, yeah. you know. And, and and to have that release, so it was daunting to do it. And then that response, there's the first thing of like absolute relief, you know, because yeah. you don't want to choke. Right. You no. know what I mean? Like not you Maverick. Do not want to choke. Not Maverick. Uh -uh. Oh my gosh. Please. The, the intensity. And then just, I look up to have an audience respond that way. It's just a dream. That's what I want. Yeah. That's I want to entertain the audience and have them feel that way. But I cried. And enjoy themselves. That's what I want. I cried. Come on. Man. And and not only did I cry, oh, but I also joined. I had signed up for aviation school. Like I signed up for a class in in uh, um, Marina Del Rey in Los Angeles. Fantastic. Yeah. Like seriously. Oh, that's fantastic. You did it. You got to do it. You did yes. it. Yeah. What I say is start on the one seventy twos, but also fly aerobatics. You want to get into some aerobatics because. Get yourself used to that. You're going to love the I love aerobatics. that you're coaching me on the red yeah, carpet. I love it. I love the aerobatics. The, the first film gave us so many iconic moments. That beach volleyball scene. Yeah. Only <laughs> to be rivaled by the beach football scene in this one. But, I mean, come on. Yeah, you, look, you look the same <laughs> on the beach 35 years later. 36. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's, it's actually 37. Right now, we shot release. in 85. With yeah. Release. Yes. So I, I mean, oh it's, it's it's the the guys were telling me they were they were in the gym like, oh no, we're gonna we're gonna be ready for this. <laughs> and then you guys shot it, and then you called them later that night like, yes, yeah, so we're gonna do that thing again. We're yeah. Gonna do that one more, we're gonna do that one more time. We didn't get it right. Right. They're like, oh. I know. Brutal. I know. Brutal. I was like, sorry guys, gonna have to hit the gym again. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> the, the, what, I, what, I, what I also love about you is you have, and everyone here has talked about it, you have this intensity, you have this intention, um, and this attention, every detail. You sent these guys to, and these ladies, to these actors, to aviation boot camp. Yeah. Uh, and they showed up in a major way. Monica told me the only way to top this one is space. Yeah, that's it. And they crushed it too. Yeah. They worked so hard. Not only that, like, I oversaw their whole program, so they to pre prepare them for G's, but also to teach them about editing and lighting, because they're in that F-18. Right. And, you know, you don't have that much time in that airplane. Right. We got to get it. We now, gotta get the shot. Did you ever did you ever say did anybody ever say to you, and maybe this is a silly question, Tom, you don't you don't have to fly the plane. We could, you could just act. You don't have to fly the plane. Yeah. Yeah, they tried. <laughs> they tried. Even on the first one, I was like, this is part of it is like you, I gotta go in that F fourteen and we gotta fly and I wanna be filmed in that F fourteen and I wanna push cinema 
and storytelling and structure to a place that is really going to entertain the audience. Is and that what it's ultimately that's about? That's what it is. It is how do we communicate and have them feel that kind of exhilaration. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, whatever story I'm making, I'm, I'm thinking about how within this genre, people like all kinds of movies, I make all kinds of movies, what can I do to to grab that attention, to entertain them in the way that they want to be entertained within that, whether it's Jerry Maguire or Top Gun or Mission Impossible yeah. or whatever I have to do. Yeah, you do it, man. You do it. I'm, a, I'm gonna leave you with this. Lady Gaga. I know. I mean, I, I heard you were in London when you heard the song. You were with Hans yeah. Zimmer. Yeah, we were with Zimmer, McHugh, Joe, and Eddie. We were working on it and just musically, we just, it wasn't there. We were exploring and we, we were still in the edit. And because music is such a big part of the Top Gun it's thing. It's a big part of every movie, but on this one, it just, it wasn't there. And I, she sent the song over, and I called her right after. I said, I don't know how you did this, but you're such, I admire her so much. Yes. She's an incredible artist. Wait, Tom Cruise is a Lady Gaga fan? Oh, man, you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I love it. Love Gaga. Yeah. Oh, no, that woman is, she can act. Yeah. She can compose. She can do jazz and pop. I think she's and what what she gave us, it was like I said, she's like the guardian angel for the film. Her heart was the heartbeat of this film. It was like it was almost like she's over there, we're over here, and I just went it just laid in and connected right down the line. And it became our score. And it became the beating heart of the film. Mm -hmm. Um and a moment I remember rare does ever that does that ever happen so i went and saw her pop show and then in vegas and pa pa pandemic hit in yeah. vegas and then basically i said i'm gonna come back and see your jazz show which i've i've seen her perform in jazz and you know the stuff that she's done with bennett, bennett and yeah. but i've always admired her work right from the beginning of her career and then the pandemic hit so this is actually the first live show i was able to go back and see her jazz show and she's uh next level yeah, and, and that, that combination of that is just, it's very cool. Yeah, it's cool.